Hi, I'm Will Hunter, Managing Director for MTA North America. And this is the first video in a short series intended to explain the features and advantages of MTA's tabletop soldering robot. Being the first video in the series, this is going to be a general overview of the TR300. We're going to have additional videos in this series that go into a lot more detail about the individual features of this machine. So I would highly encourage you to look at those in addition to this video in order to fully understand what this machine has to offer. The first thing I'd like to point out to you is that the 300 stands for the 300 by 300 work area. Now this doesn't mean that your parts have to fit within that uh, 300 by 300. It just means that the solder joints need to fit within 300 by 300. So if you have slightly larger parts, but all the solder joints fit, then you can solder it on the tabletop robot. The next thing I'd like to point out to you is that this is a purpose-built machine. This is not a laboratory robot that we've strapped a soldering iron onto. This machine was built from the ground up with the intended purpose of doing tabletop soldering. So with that, you'll notice that it comes with, a, uh, with its own frame system with guarding on all sides. There's a light curtain in the front to protect your operators. It has its own illumination system to light up the work area. And most importantly, it has a very robust robotic system. And this is needed in order to support the head that we have on this machine. I'm gonna go into a lot more detail about the head itself in one of the other videos. But what you can see already is that this is a rather massive unit. It includes the heating unit at the soldering tip, the wire feeder, and the spool holder, all at the end of arm. Then, in addition to that, it also has the fume extraction nozzle, which is plumbed through the R-axis and then out the cable management system to the back of the machine. This is important because when you receive your, your soldering robot, you don't want to then have to figure out how you're going to accommodate the, uh, the fume extraction with adding extra plumbing and bracketry and, and all those other things. With this unit, it's already done for you. The, the tip cleaner on this machine uses uh, rotating sponges in order to wipe off the solder tip. And this is important because it gives you a much cleaner solder tip as well as um, not blowing solder balls around on your work area the way that an air jet nozzle can. The, um, the buttons on the front of the machine for normal daily operation, your operators are going to be using these buttons. Starting here, you have your emergency stop, you have your on and off, the illumination as I showed you before, we have a key that allows you to switch between operator mode and maintenance mode to enable and disable the light curtain accordingly. And then over here you have your start stop buttons as well as your temperature controller. On the far side you will see that we have a full monitor and keyboard. This is included with every machine. These units are PC based. They are running on a Windows 7 embedded operating system and that will allow you to your operators to be able to interface with the machine much easier than with a teaching pendant. There are many options available for the TR300. After all, we built this machine from the ground up, so there's not much limitation as to what we can do with it. What I would point out to you is it already comes as a very complete machine, as a standard unit. The guarding, the framework, light curtains, illumination, monitor, keyboard, all of these features come standard on a TR300. In fact, the only option that we're showing on this machine today is the camera monitoring system. Other than that, it's a standard unit. So I'm going to put together another video that goes into a lot more detail about all the options available. There simply isn't enough time to cover them in this video. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to learn more about our product. I'm going to include more videos in other sections that go into a lot more detail about the individual features of this machine, the options available to this machine, etc. I'm also including my contact information in the comments section so that if you have additional questions, you can reach out to me directly. Again, thank you for taking time to learn more about our product and I look forward to hearing from you soon.